Hello there, welcome, welcome to my home. Um, we are going to head off today and capture the next two souls in Witchwood. So we're gonna head out and tackle the ox and the snake. Um, so if everybody's ready, we're just gonna dive right in and go and capture some souls. Right, where were we? So, last time, uh, we did the bear and the leech, a little bit of necromancy, all that good stuff. So now we are gonna do the ox in the field and the snake in the forest. So we'll go do the ox in the field, I think, because we have... already kind of started that already so let's go and do that crack some froggos come here gotcha gotcha and um, we may have to come back to get some stuff maybe what have we got in my inventory in my inventory ingredients I think I need some. And what we'll do is we'll catch some more of those. those bug things and get the snoots because I think we need those for sewing kits if I remember rightly. Look, see look, last time a little bit of necromancy. Ah, yeah, okay. Let's from you. And chop you up with an axe. Yeah. Skeeter snoot. Perfect. Um, and then we'll go back and more. Hello! Nice lovely lady and her undead husband. Happy as you like. Just do some more skeeter snoots while we're here. Get out of here. The new. The new. We may have to come back. Right, so. I think the. Great job. Head shed. It's always handy to have. It's always handy to have. Ooh. We're just going to hop over to the field. Into the decay. And the farm, that's where we need to go. Let's go to the field. Uh, did we speak to the ox? I can't remember if we spoke. I don't think we did. Let's go find the ox's farm. I can't remember which is the map. Oh, there we go. Uh, need to go down that path. Right. So we're gonna go down the path and go to the ox's farm. Not in there. Bandit camp. Do this way. Oh, I might grab that one. Right, let's go see this ox. Let's go see an ox. Is there anything I can steal while I'm here? There's a changeling. No, thank you. Don't want 
to do here right now? Dog. Okay. Let's go speak to this ox. Oh, he has got a lovely farm. Let's speak to him. Hello. Hey, this is private property. What are you doing trespassing on my land? Why, I just came to admire the glow of your crops, Master Ox. I heard you produce the most bountiful produce in the land. Ha, huh. well you heard right. I work day in and day out till my hands are raw and my back is broken, but you won't find a far finer farm anywhere else. You're sure to take first prize at the Harvest Festival again, and you and your family must be proud. The ox spits on the tilled soil. Pa. Those lazy louts never understood the pride and joy of devoting oneself to the land. What's good a family that gripes about hard labour? We'd have never won any of those competitions if it wasn't for my sacrifice. Where is your family then? I can't help but notice that you're working all by yourself. If you must know, those damnable bandits out by the South Bridge stormed in the place one night and stole them away. Bandits? You don't seem very concerned about getting them back. Ha! I'm better off. For all I know, they could have been already ransomed off for fertiliser. But if you're so worried, why don't you go and talk to those bloody brigands yourself? I'll get your big nose off my fields or I'll toss you in the compost heap. Well, that's not very nice, is it? I'm going to rob you. Hello, chickens. Hello. Uh, ooh, uh, don't mind me, I'm just gonna love you, thank you. Ugh, I've just been playing. Uh, I was trying to play uh, Death's Door, but um, it's just not happening. I, uh, I've, I had a little bit of a break. It wasn't intentional, I didn't intend to have a break, but uh, I had some, I've been having some health problems. My migraines have come back like pretty bad. So I'm on a new medication. Well, basically, it's the same medication, but it's like a higher dose of the medication. Um, and it takes me a while to get used to it. So I'm still a little bit loopy. I think. Right, here's my witch's eye. You bend it. Ah. I think I have things to make that. Right, what do we need? I need some grain and I need a sewing kit. I think I've got enough stuff to make a sewing kit, but I need to go and get some grain, which is in the field at the top. There we go. So. Right, let's go get some grain. Um, where's that field? Is it up here? Up here somewhere. There it is. <coughs> Just gonna help myself. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I think that's enough. Is it? Yes. Let's cross the line. Oh, it's my favourite douja vajavo. I love it. My favourite. Oh, hey. Good to gender non-specific. Um, animated turnip. Oh, oh no, he's, 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 it's a squash, isn't it? It's gourd. Okay, let's... Ah, sly old fox, how do you manage to get your creaky bones past me grunts? My mooks must be getting fat around the waist to let you slip by so easy. Never too old to teach some young uns that hands are better left out of people's pockets. Next time I catch you on one of your thugs rooting for gold, they'll have to recount their fingers. I mean, I say that, but I've been robbing everyone. Everybody. Ha ha ha, ain't afraid of nothing, are you? Let me be the first to welcome you to our merry cap. Though I suspect you didn't come just to scold us. What do you know about the ox that works the southern fields? He told me his family might have come through this way. Oh yeah, we know all about the ox. He might 
we also might have seen that family of his. But on the other hand, maybe we did it. What's it to you? Listen up, you big lug. That information is just about the only thing stopping me from changing the whole lot of you into stinking chickens. Oh, all right, Granny. No need to get upset. We was just playing games, you know. Yeah, we uh, seen that family. A boy and his mum, if I remember. Always walking in that big ox's shadow. Always looking afraid of him, too. So you didn't kidnap them. Where are they now? You know, you remind me of my dear old Ma. She didn't take no guff from no one either. Ah, uh, she used to bake the most delicious meat pies. I sure do miss her. Does he want a pie? Me and boys have been awful hungry for lately. Thieving is hard work and crime doesn't always pay. I don't know, my crime's been paying me quite well. Thank you very much. Say, do you know how to bake? I even got my mom's pie recipe right here. Who knows, on a full stomach, I might even remember something about that missing family. Oh, oh yes, okay, I'm gonna make you some humble pie. Rattle all your bones, those brigands. Right, let's check our menu of what we need for pie. Pie, pie, pie. Uh, some roast beef, dough and crowfoot. So, dough, what do we need? Uh, an egg, some grain, and two jars of milk. Uh, okay, so I'm going to make a snare to catch some crow. How many crow feet do I need? Two. Let's make two snares then. I think I know where to get eggs. I need to craft two jars. We're gonna go and get some milk. Right. Okay. Is there anything else we can rattle while I'm rattling my fingers? No. Ah, it's falling off. Damn it. Okay. Let's go over here. Uh, it's this way to the cow, isn't it? Why are you not snipping? Oh, I can pull that out of the <laughs> My bad. I was snipping when I should have been pulling. I need a jar, yes. I need to collect some. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Right, happy. Jenkins. What is that? What is that? Oh, I just need to grab them. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, all the chicks are like. Ah. Right, where are the crows? Have we seen any anywhere? Can I look, bugger? Set the things on fire. I'm gonna come back for you, matey. Ah, there we go. Trap. Move away from there. A little sip of my drink. Come on. Give me your little feet. Same area, maybe. Possibly. It's all right, I've got all the milk I need. I need another crow's foot. Maybe if I build it, they will come. <laughs> ah, there we go. There's some crows there. everything we need. Oh, I need more grain. I need more grain. 
and some uh, what's that? Witch spice. Right, just gotta grab some more grain. And now we'll be laughing, we'll make some dough. Mm -hmm. I wonder if I could get green out there. No, I can just grab this out there. Okay, I'll be back. I'll be back. I think I'm going to do a job for the vegetable guy. Uh, right. There it is. Sneep. Green. Flipping bandits, they need a bit of humble pie. Taking down a peg or two. Uh, I can't say anything really because I I've basically been robbing everybody blind. I'm like, oh, what's this? Is this your uh, this your wooden chest? Oh, I'm gonna rob these guys as well. Yeah, that's mine as well, man. Thanks. <laughs> So, do you know how to bake? I oh, even got mods, but yeah, okay. Here you go, here's your pie. Free fi fo fum. I want pie in my tummy tum tum. How old are you? Come on then, have a helping. The bandit plunges his hand into the pie, grabbing a fistful. He barks in delight as wet chunks of pie filling spatter out of his gob. Oh, delicious, just like Ma used to make. But something's different. He picks a small black feather from between his yellow teeth. Is this crow? I figured you could do with a serving of humility. The gargantuan man's lips begin to quiver. Great watery tears well up in his beady eyes. What's the matter, dearie? Are the spices too strong? <laughs> no, it ain't the spices. It's just, it's just. He deteriorates into great shuddering sobs that shake the camp. Ma always said I was a bad seed. Said I weren't good for nothing but eating and feeding. But all I really wanted to do was dance. I was going to make the greatest dance troupe the world has ever seen. Had a name in it, in mind and everything. Picking the leaping pockets. But, but, I ain't been doing nothing but taking, always taking. Oh, Ma was right, I am a bad apple. Come on now, dry those eyes, you're not all that bad. He's not, he starts a dangling glob of snot back up into his nose. Oh, lovely. <laughs> You really think so? You gently reassure him with another helping of pie. Of course not. You're going to tell me all about that Oxus family, aren't you? Oh, uh, right. Well, you see, we've been spying on that ox for years now. Every full moon, he'd go out into his fields all by his lonesome. He'd howl at the sky. What was it he'd say? Oh, yeah. He'd yell, Abraka corn cob. And then it always sounded like he'd got into an argument with someone. But there was never anyone else there, except for that creepy old scarecrow of his. He pat the sniffling rogue on his stubbly cheek. That's a good lad. Maybe it's time to think about trading the daggers for dad's shoes. He stuffs more handfuls of the crumbling pie between his blubbering lips. <laughs> yes, um, I'll do it. I'll dance. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. <sighs> See, I'm out here doing good. One pie at a time. I'm just going to take those embers, thank you very much, they're very useful. Get those embers as well. Right, let's go and see a scarecrow about some magic. It's all getting a bit eldritch. Earth and horror, all that good stuff. Right, let's go and have a look. Hmm. Talk to you, my lad. This eerie simulacrum of a human sways in the breeze. Its lumpy face seems to leer down at you as if expecting something. Um, abracorn cob? The figure creaks against its pole as its vegetative head 
twists to look at you. It takes a wheezing breath, expelling a moth from its mouth hole. Hello, yes. Have you come to strike a deal with the great and magnanimous Far Harvest Master? Uh, no, thank you. I'm involved in quite too many dark contracts with supernatural beings already. Why then have you summoned me? Has the ox made a deal with you, perchance? The ox? Why, yes. Terrible trade, I say, but a deal is a deal. What sort of trade? Does it have to do with his missing family? Yes, he said he wanted to win. Pretty prizes, grow best crops. Said he would give up anything in the world. So he offered me his wife and son. And I am not one to refuse. A bargain like that. Where are they? What did you do with them? Don't worry, they're fine. But as long as I make the crops grow, they belong to me. And if the crops should fail, your deal will be broken. Ha! I am the great harvest master. My ma harvest will never fail. We'll see about that. I'd better take a closer look at these prize winning plants. Hmm. <laughs> Healthy crops. These crops are robust. Thriving beyond anything else nearby. That looks like a potion. Hmm. These stalks don't look so sturdy to me. Good herbicide ought to shrivel these right up. That'll teach that ox a lesson about proper agricultural practices. I'll need a sturdy enough vessel to hold the poison though. Maybe I can convince the vegetal fellow to give up that nice big watering can of his. I mean, I don't think I'd give up my family to have good crops, but... Hmm, I mean, the attempt it, Deal would be tempting, but maybe not my family. I mean, I like my family. <sighs> and I don't have the sort of so. Apart from my Tamagotchi. I got a new Tamagotchi for my birthday because I'm an excellent grown up and I believe in, you know. <gasps> Getting sensible presents for your birthday. Right, let's talk to my favourite vegetable. Well, hello again. Find out anything about that ox what is up to? As a matter of fact, I have. He seems to be traded his family to a turnip wizard or a field genie or other such nonsense. Ah, you must mean the harvest master. That explains a lot, actually. Bad business to get mixed up with that sort of fellow. The farmer nervously wipes his brow with the back of his leafy hand. Uh, not that I would know anything about that myself. Well, listen, I don't have time to exchange farm gossip. I need to borrow your watering can over there. Ah, uh, I'd be happy to lend it to you, but unfortunately, I still needed to grow my prize winning vegetable. You glance down at the fat head of cabbage bowing gently against a blanket of big, swaddling leaves. You think you may have heard a faint giggle coming from deep within the front. Oh, that's terrifying. Seems plenty big enough to me. Ah, you just wait. My little baby is going to grow up to be a great big baby. It's going to be the bell of the ball at this year's festival. But if it were to say grow a little bit faster, I suppose I would not need my watering can at all. I swear the farmer winks at you despite not being equipped with any eyes. <sighs> Does nobody here grow produce in an honest way? Uh, let me take a look at the little tyke. You look down at the fattest little cabbage you have ever seen. But if you get your hands on that watering can, it could stand to be a little fatter. So what we got? Growth portion, turkey gizzards, two jars of water. Right. Let's get on that. First of all, I'm going to just think in my journal so that... What are we doing? We're gonna up to the ox. So I'm gonna track that one. So that I there we go. So for the turkeys we need a growth so growth potion. What do we need for that? Uh, 
Apothecary Humors. Magic Paste. We've got that. So, Apothecary Humors. Magic Paste. What do we need there? Dragonfly Wing. Fairy Dust. Jar of Milk. Uh, ah, we need some blood. Blood. Right, what else would we need? Life potion. Right, let's get the turkey gizzards first. So we got everything we need to make uh, digestive tablets. No, what do we need? Snail shell, eye of newt. God, it's not a freaking god. Okay, let us go back to the swamp the swamp swamp uh where's my dude out there maybe go to the swamp and we'll get the new and the blood and the uh what was the other thing uh, whatever it was whatever it was right so grab us now shall Bait stick. Oh, it's usually in a rotted stump, isn't it? So let's. Uh, craft a couple of smoke bombs. Oh no. How are we gonna get our blood? Oh my god. But I need to find that stump. Which I think is near the I think it's over here, so you can get lost. There was not a newt where maybe if I go over the other side. Let's go over the other side by uh, where the hospital the hospital. Uh, and maybe there might be some over there. There's plenty of fruits. Plenty of fruits. Dragonfly. Hmm. Leeches. What do we need for leeches actually? Oh, we deal with leech. Oh, salt. Let's try this bad boy. Yes. Okay. What do we need? I think we need a bait stick. I need your eyes. Nice, thank you. I'm all knit. So, okay. Need very dust jar of milk. What was the thing I needed? Blood and eyeballs for one of those. I'm getting rid of yours. And then. Oh, I'm getting rid of Dragonfly. Alright, let's grab another dragonfly actually while we're here. Maybe another dragonfly. 
I put one down on the dragonfly oh come. Uh, and then digestive tablets I needed. Snail shell, eyes mute, goblin snot, that's what it was, goblin snot. I think I had some goblin snot in the forest I think. What else do I need while I'm here? Yeah, I can get goblin snot in the forest. Uh, right. Oh, I've got the memory of a sieve right now. What happens when you just charge milk? Okay, okay. Let's get a jar of milk. Come here, come here. Stop running away from me! How dare you! How dare you! Fair enough, you've gone. I'll let you off. Uh, what the heck, what the heck is this? Oh, this is where I need to be. Awesome. Rotten after. Uh, let's go to the field and get some goblin snot. guy that was over here. Was he a goblin? Oh, that freaking scary tree is there. Where else would goblins be? Uh, oh, I've robbed this already. One has robbed this already. Uh, I'm not going to start that yet, I don't think. Maybe up here, maybe? Ah, yes. Do I have what I need to make? Another one of those dolls. Wow. What do I need? Oh, I need a sewing kit. I've got stuff to make a sewing kit. I can do that. I'm gonna scare the snot out of you. Let me. I need grain. Is there a goblin in here, maybe? Oh, I think he's a gnome. Oh, he's a gnome. Right, I needed hoppers. And grain. I definitely should, like, collect more materials as I'm going along but I definitely get, I get too focused on on my task that I'm doing and I'm like oh I need to, I need to get my task complete and I've got to do this and then I end up having to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth which is not too bad because like 
I mean, it's really pretty here, so it's fine. Okay, go into the forest. Scare the snot out of some goblins. Um, and then make some stuff. I think it's because I'm a I I am a little bit lazy sometimes. I'm like I don't want to flip through all of my thing my tools to get stuff. I just wanna I just wanna run past and grab things. That's all I wanna do. Right, let's scare the snot out of some goblins. I get everything. Oh, that's something I have to do later. I have to. Um, I have to remember to collect enough stuff to do another another doll because that looks like it's going to be a. Uh, a secondary task. Right, let's craft this before we go. Let's get near me thing. It's over here, isn't it? Where is it? Right there. Uh, right, so... get some clay from up here. That's handy. Uh, dig. Clay. 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 Oh. Gold coin. Nice. I think there's a water thing up here as well. Uh, there might be some clay up here. Hang on. Let's go see if there's some clay. Or a jar that I can steal. Oh my goodness, all the chicks are running everywhere. They're like, oh no, please don't. Let's do that right. I need two water. Okay, let's go in, get some turkey gizzards, and then well, if we see somewhere to get clay on the way. Where were the friggin' turkeys? Are they over here? Yes, they were. Okay. Have uh, that. Well, that was dramatic. That was dread dramatic. At least don't kill the turkeys, at least it's just like mildly stunned. Uh, 
Ooh, some clay. Ooh, some clay. Potentially there. I'm doing it. I'm in the process. It's fine. Oh, I need some more clay. Oh, some clay here. Potentially. Oh my goodness. Pressing all the wrong buttons. Holy moly. Uh, that. And then back this way. Do, 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 and then we've got to make a poison. So hopefully, I have everything I need to. Oh, I've got to put it on the cabbage, haven't I? You look down at the fattest little cabbage you've ever seen. But if it gets your hands on the watering can, it could stand to be a little fatter. Okay, grow a potion. You pop open the cork of the potion and sprinkle the bright liquid onto the cabbage's roots. You look down at the fattest little cabbage you've ever seen. Uh, take a gizzard stone. Crushed into fine powder, a gizzard stone lends potent nutrients to the soil. Fish blood and bone. That is little cabbage. Two jars of water. You spritz the cabbage with fresh, clear water while uttering a simple horticultural charm. The water beads like dew drops before the leaves drink them off and brighten in colour. The budding plant changes to a bright purple, then blue, then yellow. It suddenly goes rigid and shrinks to the size of a marble. The farmer gasps in horror as precious baby disappears into, back into the earth. He turns to you, shoulders stiff and pitchfork in hand. He takes one step in your direction, but stops abruptly. When a tremor shakes the ground, you look to your feet and watch deep cracks split the earth. Hold on to your hat, this one's gonna be big. You hear a booming giggle echo from deep in the ground. The vegetal farmer falls to his knees, clutching his hat to his chest. In an explosion of leafy greens and flying earth, the bouncing head of an enormous cabbage erupts into the field. Oh, I need some fluids. The farmer reaches out to it shakily. My, my little baby. Papa? The farmer scrambles towards the big bumbling cabbage with open arms. My beautiful baby, look how big you've grown. See, with a little love and help from your friends, you're sure to win first prize after all. Oh, I don't even care about that silly zing anymore. Just look at how handsome my baby is. The two embrace, laughing and crying. Uh, I guess you won't need that uh, orchard can anymore. Please, help yourself. You've helped me more than enough. <sighs> Thank you. It'll take some work to break through the scarecrow's magical boon but you're confident in your mastery of poisons so we need a potion of blight weird water pumpkin jack bone okay what do we need potion of blight got that yeah is it weird water <laughs> Oh, I actually need some water, but I've got everything else for that. Okay, let's add the potion of blight, seeing as we've got it. You hold your breath and empty the poisonous vial into the container. The toxic fumes make your fingers, fingernails curl. Okay, right. Let's get some water. How many jars of water do I need? I just need the one. So I just need one log plate, that's fine. Oh, look how happy they are. Look at them. That was a great time. Fantastic time. Okay, jar of water. Let's go get jar of water. And then we need pumpkin jack bones. What did I need? Uh, not the smoke farm I needed for pumpkin jack. I had 
have a feeling that that was its wall. Okay. Beautiful stuff. Uh, weird water. Oh, it shows you what you can, what you've got ingredients. Okay, weird water. Is that clay? Clay. Okay. I've seen the thing here to dig up, didn't I? Let's go out, throw up weird water in the thing. Okay. Oh, thank you, changeling. A good amount of weird water will di dilute the poison to keep it from eating straight through the metal can. Right. Leave, let's go. Got some pumpkin jack bones. Hey, come on. There we go. Uh, I think we're here. Hello, pheasant. Right. Gnomes. Gnomes. And. Snag vines. Okay, hang on. Latest potatoes, you are scary as fuck. I love how this farm is just like, oh yeah, that's right. My field's just infested with um and feels just infested with pumpkin jacks and that's fine. I'm really okay with that. Look at him. Like garbage. Garbage. Uh, oh, I'm chucked in some pumpkins. Thank you. Mm, horrible bugger. Ugh. Gross. Oh. <laughs> Turkey's still stunned. What if I hit it with the axe? I would end up with something else. No, I'm gonna do that. I'm not doing that. Not today. Okay. Uh, Pumpkin jack bone. You crush up the impish bone into fine powder. This potent fertilizer will help spread the blight. Uh, you find a hefty stick to mix all the ingredients together inside the watering can. And you know your work is done when the stick dissolves into mush in your hands. Take it. Yes. Right, let's go wither some crops. I missed the entrance. Got distracted by the cow. Right, let's go this way. That's what you would say. You root to a witch, or your crops get withered. Everybody knows this. This is this is a thing that is known. Hey, I thought I told you to beat it. He raises his hoe and bandages at you menacingly. Wow. Fuck you guys. Uh, fuck you. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> you watch the sickness spreading on up, up the stalks to the very tips of the tallest leaves. Vivid greens turn to diseased browns as the crops bend and droop. No! What is happening? Harvest Master, we had a deal. You promised my crops would never fail. Dreadfully sorry. Looks like my magic is broken. Not my fault. The ox throws himself to the ground, desperately raking the soil with his fingers. Wait, let's make a new deal, please. I sacrificed too much for this. A new deal? What is your offer? Anything you want, just bring back my precious crops back to me. Anything? Hmm? This is acceptable. Worm like roots suddenly wrap around the ox's feet. Oh god, and begin dragging him into the soil. Wait, I didn't mean. Well, this is what happens. You make deals with eldritch beasts. 
this is what happens. The dust settles over the spot where the ox once stood as if nothing had happened. Though the soil looks barren and diseased, a small sprout of leafy green catches your eye. Thank you. Where the ox once stood, a green tendril has pushed its way through the earth. You watch a delicate blossom unfurl, revealing a stubborn, hard chuck, or oh, hiccup seed, the soul of the ox. The ox quest complete. I wonder if the family will return. There they are. Standing at the front gate, the ox's missing wife and son blink in confusion as if they have just burst forth from the earth itself. Ma! Oh, what happened? Ah, welcome back. I suppose you don't remember much. He really did it, didn't he? That stupid festival prize was worth more to him than us. Where is he? Where is my husband? Don't fret. I've already set things straight. He won't be troubling you again. And you've got this nice fertile farm all to yourself now. I mean, apart from all the friggin' poison I've just spread everywhere. My son and I worked ourselves to the bone for that horrible man. Thank you for lifting this curse. Just do me a favour and don't make any deals with suspicious scarecrows. I mean... I feel pretty good about that. Uh, what can we rob while we're here? Anything to rob while we're here? No, we've got gold. Well, if you dig, we can dig these things up while we're here. Cook clay. Uh, okay. Go and grab some coal. <laughs> and head back to the forest to do the snack. Well, I need to grab some corn on the way because that's I'm gonna need that to do goblin stuff, aren't I? What the heck? I didn't press that button. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh my goodness. There we go. Right, let's go grab some corn because I am going to need that to make some dreadful dolls to deal with those goblins. I feel like uh, that might be one of the next tasks. Okay. Plus it saves me having to come all the way back if I need it. So. I'm pretty sure you can only get the corn here. Right. Let us head through the doorway. Uh, I'm going to do some strange noises coming from outside. Right, let's head to the forest. Right. It's just a snake in the forest left to do. Uh, I think it's up this way where that my chicky was crying. Uh, I might snip that soon if I've got my shoes on. Sneep. Thank you. Let's hit that one over here. Might as well collect a few things while I'm running a boot. Try not to be lazy today. Right. Where is she? Let's get this party started. There she is. Haha. Hello. You approach a young woman, weeping sorrowfully into her palms. She catches her breath for a moment and looks out longingly over the placid lake. Oh, my sweet songbird, why have you forsaken me to a life devoid of your love? Tears well up in her eyes as she buries her face once again. You consider leaving this melodrama well, well enough alone, but something about the poor girl reminds you of the maiden slumbering at your house. I'm a soft touch. Like, oh, I see a, see a girly crown. Oh, I'll cry. You draw a tattered handkerchief and offer it to the maiden. 
There, there, dry your eyes, my child, and tell old Granny what the matter is. Oh, thank you, you're very kind. She takes the cloth and daintily dabs at the corners of her eyes. Swallowing the last of her sobs, she composes herself before sighing wistfully. Oh, it's my beloved, such a sweet and romantic man. With the voice of the meadow lark, he... Ah, oh, I get it, he dumped you. Well, don't worry, there's plenty of other frogs in the swamp. <laughs> What? No, he loves me and I him, though our families would never allow us to be together. He'd come and sing outside my balcony every night. One night we both vowed to escape and meet by this lake. Her lip quivers. I waited and waited under the waning moon, even past the morning sun, but he still didn't reveal himself. <laughs> Tough break. Maybe he just wasn't that into you. <laughs> The woman snaps at you with sudden vitriol. He would never abandon me. We're destined to be together. Okay, calm down, love. She slips back into a melancholic gaze out over the lake. Even now, I can still hear the beautiful melody of his lute coming from across the water. Over the dull sounds of the lapping waves and the quacking waterfowl, faint notes of some faraway stringed instrument whisper through the reeds. Oh, I hear it too. Maybe you aren't just mad in love. It's coming from somewhere in the middle of the lake. He's out there somewhere. I just know it. She crumples into another dramatic bout of inconsolable tears. Now, now, I'm sure it's just some echo bouncing off the shore. I'll go find out where his ta this tardy bard of yours has run off to. New chapter. The snake. Uh, that's, ooh, that's not the bottom I'm supposed to press. Okay, so we need to reveal the source of the sounds by the forest lake. Let's have a look over here. Ooh, the music seems strongest on the shore, but even here you can't quite place the source. It seems to be emanating from a half sunken ruin poking out the lake's waters. Maybe that fool bard's hiding way out there. Bah, but I swim as well as hens fly. Not very well. Suddenly some unseen voice chitters mockingly in your ear. Ho ho, he he, the musical man, you'll never see. God damn it! You spin around but no one is there, just a nattering laughter bouncing off the wind. If this is an imp, or some kind of friggin' fairy. Who's there? Show yourself, spirit. Oh, right, I need some unveiling powder, I think. It's a goddamn pixie! Okay. Freaking pixie. Right. Mm. You just you wait, mister. I'm gonna get you. Where's it gone? <laughs> uh, there we go. You snap your hands around the elusive creature and squeeze. Ah! Let me go! You knobbly pot! You're crushing the life out of me! You trifling little pest, what do you know about this music? Music? What music? All I hear is the slapping waves and the peeping birdies. Your wrinkly old ears must be full of bug, you cheeky little bugger. You cheeky little bugger. Don't you play smart with me, I'll pop you off your head like a daisy. Ooh, you mean that music? It's the sound of the snakes travelling circus. I thought everyone knew that. Circus stay still, but the door's the thing that travels. You see, I'm right now. The door's out on that lake, but you'll never get in. Nah, 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 nah. What? Oh, goddamn friggin' pictures! You give the wretched sprite a good shake, and a shower of glittering dust sheds off its wings. Tell me how to cross the lake, or I'll make a necklace from your teeth. Ah! Only fey folk can show the way. Dirty fairies built a bridge. Keep all your big folk out, unless a snake invites them in. You're a fairy, aren't you? Where's this bridge? Ha! We're a pixie. Not one of those flamby bamby mushroom herders. Besides, the bridge is invisible to big stompers like you. The creature peers over your shoulder and waves its tiny arms. Oh look, there's a fairy now, why don't you ask her? You turn to look, but in your moment of distraction, the pixie sinks its sharp teeth into your finger. Ow! You sneaky little blighter. Springing from free from your grasp, the slippery monster chitters a laugh and vanishes in a cloud of smoke. You look down at your dust-covered hand. 
fairy or not, this bridge must be around here somewhere. Right, let's go check this out. Lakeside Basin. Pushing aside thrushes and cattails, you find a strangely carved pedestal. It might be mistaken for a bird bath if you don't know any better. As you run your finger around the edge of the bowl, the remaining pixie dust on your hand flakes off, as if drawn in, in by an invisible force. Crude pictographs appear on the surface of the basin that depict a coiled snake presiding over the centre of some kind of festival. Mm. Directions on how to reveal the bridge are carved on the outside. You see symbols remember resembling fey dust, dancing fireflies, and bird feathers. Okay, do I have all of those things? Oh my goodness, I might actually have all of these things. You shake out the fine dust into the bowl and it settles evenly to the inside surface. Directions. Oh, I need some more fireflies. I might need two more. How was it? What's that? So I need two more fireflies and two more blue feathers. We could do that. Uh, let's. I've got two traps. Let's see what's down. Look for something. Oh, there we go. Let's put a trap down there. Little, little trap. Shell little trap there. Catch that little blue bird. Oh yeah. Bonk. Ugh. Gross. But necessary. Let's look for some more birds. And some fireflies. Oh, there we go. There we go. No trap. Bonk. Uh, there's some fireflies down here. Um, let's go. Let's go right down the bottom where that guy was because there's loads of them. We might need some fairy dust as well, so. We could grab some fairy dust. Oh, he still looks a bit crazy, doesn't he? We could grab some fairy dust while we're down there. Uh, where is it? There it is. There it is. Let's get my net out. Grab some things. Grab that as well. That might be useful. I'm gonna grab all the things. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Nothing else to grab over here. No. Oh, what's that? Oh, the stag. Okay. Must make make mental note because that may be useful later. I've seen a few of those. To be fair, I was very focused on my mission and not really uh, paying attention to what was going on around me. That's fine. It's fine. Right, let's go back to this basin. Do, do, do. Oh, I'm getting my steps in today. Getting my steps in today. Do, do, do. Oh, I nearly went past it then. Right. Directions. Five flies. Each of the five flies alights upon the edge of the bowl, stepping del delicately until they are evenly spaced. And blue feathers. Placed into the basin, the feathers arrange themselves into perfect triangular symmetry. The basin begins to glow a soft yellow as the fireflies ri rise from the muck within. They begin to dance up and down, drawing circles high above the bowl. Glitter rains down gently, shimmering as it catches the rays of sunlight. Slowly the particles trace the form of a bridge leading from the edge of the water to the centre of the lake. You tentatively test the strength of the spectral walkway and find out that it is strong as if it were made of solid stone. Cool. Right, let's go see what's going on here. Let's find this bard. Oh, A little sip of tea. Find the snake in the fairground. Oh. The snake would like to meet you. The snake... The snake is good to us. I think oh, this might be well. He seems to be in some kind of trance. Ooh, very nice, strong man. <laughs> yeah, like me, she likes the strong boys. The snake would like to meet you. The snake would oh, oh. I'm sensing a bit of a 
A bit of hypnotism going on here. Hmm. That's a heckin' snake. Draped in glittering jewellery, the serpent stares intently into a crystal ball as you approach. Welcome, my dear, welcome. I saw that you would come here in search of answers. Pa, I just came here in search of a bard. That's him outside, right, with the loot. The minstrel, yes, he is working off a debt to me. All those folks out there seem a touch addled. Uh, what did you do to them? They're all humble folk looking for something, just as you are. I am here to provide them with my services in exchange for a bit of work. Well, that's creepy and funk. So what are you? Some sort of carnival wizard? You're making quite the racket in my forest. A wizard? No, no, no. I am a seer, a scryer of hidden mists, a foreteller of fortunes, and a keeper of secrets. Secrets. Fancy titles you've given yourself. Um, Sounds like you're nothing but a used cart salesman peddling your wares to the gullible. On to you, bud. Ah, a sceptic. Step closer and let the crystal ball reveal its mystery. The snake's voice drops low and seems to fill the tent with a heavy weight. I am a helper of sorts, an unraveller of knots. I make the forgotten remembered. You feel the scaly touch of slithering coils. Oh no, I'm in danger! Danger, Will Robinson! Coils wind around you, but you are powerless to move. And you, you have forgotten much. The snake's eyes swirl in a pattern you've never seen. Imperceptible colours collapse into themselves and fracture in a kaleidoscope, kaleidoscopic mosaics against the canvas walls. Oh, that's very descriptive. I like that. A voice speaks from far away. It takes you a moment to realise that it's your own. I have forgotten so much. Let me help you find answers. The serpent coils slowly squeeze the consciousness out of you. Oh no! Oh no, I'm in danger! I'm in danger! With a desperate push of willpower, you blink away from the snake's hypnotic gaze. Wait! G get off me, you worm! You wriggle your body like a sack of loose twigs. Despite your pr protesting bones, you manage to squirm free and tumble backwards out of the tent. Oh, oh! Oh, I was nearly, I was nearly a goner. When your eyes open, you find yourself back outside the snake's tent. You pick yourself up from the ground and dust off your shoulders. <sighs> I guess that sly serpent has some tricks up its sleeve. I better come up with a plan for the next time I go in there. The festival patrons seem confused after your tussle with the snake, as if the spell over them was momentarily shaken. The crowds disperse as they fumble about in a haze. Now's my chance to get a word in with that bard. Maybe I could get him out of this mess. Right, where are you? There you are. Ooh. You seem a bit frantic. Weary, weary eyed bard. Strumming his lute, this strapping young man has a faraway look in his eyes. Is it wistfulness, nostalgia, or even hypnosis? Wander I may, but ne'er away, from she I call my lover. To my chagrin, I stumbled in and met the gaze of another. Curious I stared, I was not prepared, and this was my mistake. I'm fine, finding gaze, now I live my days in the service of the snake. Cry not for me, for there is she that might still see me saved. My spirits they lift as she holds a gift from before I was enslaved. A mirror but shattered, if pieces have scattered, if mended we may be set free. Down the wishing well spring, to the swamp's moonlit ring, and hiding within the pixie's tree. Oh, clue, this is a clue. What's all this about a broken mirror? You gave it to that weeping maiden? Speak plainly, you warbling fool. No matter what you do, the poor musician barely seems to realise you're there. He just keeps drumming his lute and humming his mournful tune. <sighs> Maybe that, that lovesick miss will know what he's on about. I feel like it's clues. Oh, I know it's a bit like frantic now. The snake is good to us. Dead one. Okay, let's go and talk to Madam. All right, miss. Oh my goodness, that's some extreme weeping she's doing there. Oh, still my beating heart. Have you any news about my dear sweet love? I found him at the carnival. I got his little sip of tea. 
but he's been mesmerized by the snake. Unless I can break the spell, no one in that carnival can leave. The snake? Say it isn't so. I've heard he grants wishes, but only for a terrible price. Why would my love be so desperate as to consort with that charlatan? I haven't a clue. But he's stuck deep, and the only thing I managed to get out of him was something about a mirror. Do you know anything about that? A mirror? Oh, yes. It was the first gift he ever gave me. From inside her body, she produces a small cracked hand mirror. But one night, it slipped from my balcony and shattered on the cobblestones. I tried to piece it back together, but I could never find the last three shards. Ooh, it's a clue! Hmm, his song mentioned something about a wishing well, a moonlit swamp, and a pixie tree? Keep that mirror close. I'll see if you can count the missing shards and return them to you. Oh, thank you. I should very much love to see it whole once again. Right. Find the shard in the forest well. Find the shard in the swamp. Find the shard in the forest pixie tree. Let's this on here. Gobbos. Goblins. Right. Okay. I feel like I've run past a pixie tree recently. Um. Ah, there we go. Pixie nest. An assemblage of detritus and face saliva, but one that some tiny beings call home. There we go. This gnarled tree is littered with countless trinkets and bits of trash, glued haphazardly together to form a glittering hive, a bit like my house. You reach for a sharp piece of broken glass that could be the mirror shard, but pull your hand away at the last moment. A thousand beady eyes peer out of the tree's knot holes. Friggin' PENGUINS! A familiar cackling voice floats above the others. You again, kettle -ed. What do you want now? I've come for that mirror shard. Hand it over and I won't have to strangle you again. No way. We need shinies to keep the gross fairy folk away. Best fairy repellent there is. What? Says so one of fairies afraid of shiny things. Well, I don't see no fairies around here, do you? But maybe we can work for something out. Them smelly mushroom murders have been encroaching on our turf, see? They've been building those stupid little stone shrines of theirs. And worse yet, they've been hiring mercenaries to guard them. So you can't go anywhere near, but maybe a big stomper like you can take care of the problem for us. Okay, fair enough. And then you'll give me the shard? Hey, if there ain't no fairies, we won't need no fairy repellent. I mean, I can't fault the logic there, to be honest. Okay, right, looks like we're gonna have to deal with those goblins. So we'll do the goblin one first. Have I got enough stuff to make a horrible doll thing? Uh, I need a sewing kit. Dang it. Okay. Right. A little trip to the swamp. Uh, I think the other one's near it. Is it near uh, one of those tree things? Let's see what I've got to... Uh... Okay, I think we can deal with that one first. Where is it? There it is. Right, okay. Let's throw that. Off eventually. Yeah, I'm just going to grab all the stuff over here. Okay, there's one down. Uh, so, let's go check out the well and what we need to build just before we go back to the swamp because, just in case, I need to get some other stuff. Let's go down the wheel. Hello, sir. Please don't vomit while I'm going down this route. You'd be so kind, wonderful target mark. Right. I remember there was a there was a weird little thing behind here, wasn't there? I have a vague memory. Oh, hang on. There. I clean up my Tamagotchi. It's my Tamagotchi for my birthday. Because I'm an excellent grown-up. Uh, 
locked. There it is. A cozy burrow for a creature who prefers to be left alone. Right, let's have a little chat with you. You hike up the hem of your skirt from the ankle deep well water and duck down to inspect the small damp cave. A pale shape quickly retreats further into the dark space. You hear laboured breath of some pathetic thing, frightened and alone. Aww. I'm not hiding. Hello there. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. Bloodshot eyes blink nervously up at you and the creature gazes longingly at the light of the world above while simultaneously cowering from it. Oh, it's me. I do the same. Poor dear. What are you doing down in this hole? I bet you're hungry, aren't you? Two thin, malnourished arms twist out from, in, out from the crevice. One hand tightly clutches a shard of glass while the other hand reaches out to you, begging for food. Do I have enough to make some roast beast? Uh, what have I got? What's that? Which spice? Do I have everything I need? Oh, I do! Cool, so I just need to go to the swamp. Nice. Let's give you... Here you go. The creature snatches up the meat so quickly that you nearly lose a finger. It scurries back into this little crevice and you hear a satisfying munching from within. Thank you very much. I have one shard. Okay. We just need to deal with the pixie thing. Okay. Where is the other... Uh... Where's the other can? I haven't seen it. I'm just going to grab the clay one down here just because um, it's handy. Right! So I've got one shard and I've dealt with one fairy tower. Where's the other one? The fairy shrine. Oh, it might be on the map. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. It's on the friggin' map. Can't see it. Right. That's the one I destroyed. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Oh my goodness. Pressing all the wrong friggin' buttons today. There's that one. Oh, it's up there. Well, I'm gonna head for the swamp anyway, so I'm gonna go and have a little look while I'm up there. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to knock a, that dog out, maybe? I think that's where it is. Let's go and have a little look, see. Ah, yes, okay, yeah. I wonder if I've got everything I need to make that, maybe? Uh, so I need Oh, I need some water. Okay, let's... I need to make some smoke bombs. Let's make a couple of smoke bombs. Let's make some... A jar. And then... Where can I get water from here? Ooh. Oh, I can get some in the swamp. That's fine. I'll get some in the swamp because there's some by the... the what's the face? They are witch in a zombie husband. There we go. Two problems. Solve two problems. I'll just get a couple of things of water. Right, okay. Now let's get some Can I get all three? Ha 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 yes. That's hilarious. Heal. 
Nice. Wow, flying through this. Oh, oh, I've jinxed myself. <laughs> Shit, I shouldn't have said it. <laughs> yeah. Ow. I always have to go, oh, this is going really well, and then it, it disaster. Right, okay. Let's craft a soporific morsel. Potion. Uh, ooh, ooh. Craft. Heal. Right, sir, you are getting a... I'm going to get some dog hair while I'm here. Just because I, I can. Then that. Get that over. I feel like I'm gonna need them at some point, so let's let's chop some. Come here, yellow. There we go. It is very disturbing that they giggle like children when you smack them in the back. Right, what was my other thing I needed to do? I needed to make a sewing kit so I can make a horrible doll. Deal with the goddamn goblins. There we go. Dreadful doll. Let's go and deal with some stuff. I should grab those berries, but no. I should leave them to cover. I shall leave them to cook to cover. Uh, right, so the other one's in the swamp. That's fine, we can go back to the swamp in there. I think I remember. S kicked over those little rock piles like you asked now give me that shard or I'll knock over this nest too. You smash fairy shines. <laughs> good good take it we don't need your want your trash thank you. What's here? Is there anything here that I can grab while I'm here? Yeah there's some bits and pieces there. Oh I might smash that as well that might be useful. Bonk. Because yeah, occasionally we want to, you know, put things to sleep. So the last one is in the swamp, which is up there. So I feel like I've seen. Uh, like a little stone circle or something while I was in the swamp last time when we were doing the snake thing. <laughs> Late sucker. I think it was over. Let's get the map off. Yeah. I was right. It's right over the other side. I remember seeing like a, a stone circle thing. Alright, let's go right over. Sangry stick. Sangry stick. That's not it, is it? No. Ooh, you can fuck off. You can fuck off. Look at this corner, I think somewhere. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hello. The animated wooden effigies seem engaged in a ritualistic dance. They march in stiff patterns around a reflective piece of glass embedded in the soft ground. You lean in for a better look, just long enough to make out the shard's mirrored surface, reflecting the ghostly image of the moon. You think to reach in and grab it, but the swinging limbs of the dancing totems are too dense and quick. Out of the way, you overgrown twigs. Maybe I can get them to shift their attention to some other glittering bauble. Oh, moonlit globe. Okay. Let us see what we need to make that. Uh, 
Limestone, Totemic Moondrop, Glitter Bomb. Oh, what do we need to make a glitter bomb? How do we make a glitter bomb? Uh, empty jar, Soot Sprite. Oh, I just need an empty jar. Okay, have I got enough clay to make them? I've got loads of clay. Uh, I've seen some clay here somewhere. Or did I use it all to make? Oh, there we go. There's some clay there. Oops. Pressing all the buttons. Got enough clay? Do I have enough clay? Oh, hang on. Oh, I need. Oh, I can go. Oh, I can go and get that. That's fine. I can go and get that over the other side. I haven't dug up any fire pits recently. has a fireplace let's go dig up her fire her little fire pit uh I check what else I need while I'm over here new trial dig that's my bad right what was the other thing I needed I mean, just helping myself. I'm sure she doesn't mind. I brought her, her zombie husband back. Hmm. So it's got to be in the swamp somewhere. Because it says so. I got anything to let's make some snug vines. <laughs> ah, thought so. I just had to sacrifice one of their own to that was a moment of brilliance. Some good, a lot of the best spells require a little bit of blood sacrifice, and there we go. Right, so let's deal with you guys. Moonlit globe. You cast a glowing globe into the ritual circle and watch as the wooden effigies suddenly lose coordination and knock their wooden limbs into each other. You take the opportunity to slip between their tall frames and snatch the mirror shard before their frenzy dance begins anew. Yay! Oh, look how happy they are. Cool. Right, let's go back to the... Got a few things wrong in here. Okay, let's go back to... Forest. Beautiful car. Uh, Go 
do do that. And then that'll be I'm going to go and get this snake. Snake. And we'll pass this goblin. Ha ha ha. Bye. Later, taters. And go to the middle. Hello there. Have you found any of the mirror shards? I wonder where they could be. Here you go. I'm the best. You gingerly hand over the broken glass shards to the maiden. She's careful not to cut herself on the razor sharp edges as she slots them into the mirror frame. The pieces click into place perfectly and the surface of the mirror ripples like the water on a lake. The ripples calm, settling into a form of pristine crystal mirror. She gazes into the mirror with awe. Look, it's as good as new. Oh! The maiden's reflection ripples and morphs into the visage of a handsome young man. My love, is that you? Overcome with joy, a fresh stream of tears roll down her cheeks. She must be really dehydrated. Have a glass of water, love. I can't believe my eyes. I don't understand what happened. Where are you? I'm imprisoned inside my own head. It's horrible here. You have to get me out. You went to the snake, didn't you? Why would you do something so stupid? Uh, listen, my love. I have a confession to make. I'm not actually that good of a musician. What are you talking about? You were so beautiful upon your balcony. A bum like me could never get your attention. So I, uh, I asked the snake to help me out a little. I thought I could protect myself from the snake's hypnotic gaze with this magic mirror. But then you went and broke it, broke the darn thing. I didn't break it, it slipped out of my hand. Wait, don't put this on me. How could you be so irresponsible? One problem at a time, children. We fixed the mirror, so it should be able to break the snake's spell now. Yes, oh, you have no idea how unbearable it is being stuck in here. There's nothing but awful poetry and song lyrics that don't even rhyme. Please, Granny, take the mirror. I can hardly stand to look at this buffoon any longer. Babe, wait. <laughs> That's what you get, fuck boy. That's what you get. Trying to con it, this pretty lady. How dare you. Right, let's go see a snake about a mirror. Look here. Look here. Stay here. Boop. Okay, let's reflect. Sudden dread grips the snake as you swing the shimmering mirror to meet his eyes. The mind-altering patterns of his gaze are reflected back to him. Slowly but steadily, the snake leans closer and closer to the surface of the mirror. His forked tongue flicks against the glass and then disappears beyond it. It's so beautiful. Like a length of rope being pulled through an eyelet, the snake rushes forward and vanishes into his own reflection. Yeah! The mirror jolts and books out of your hand, clattering to the ground. You stoop down, careful not to look too deeply. Ba -ba, I got his soul. Hidden in the reflection of the mirror's surface, you can faintly make out a tiny wriggling shape trapped just beyond the veil of this world. The soul of the snake. Woo! Yeah, the souls of the bear, leech, snake and ox jostle in your satchel with fearful energies. That's that then. We get these back home to the goat before he ransacks the rest of the place. Is there anything here I can take? No, can't rob the snake. The snake! Quest complete! Okay, let's head back to the goat. Um, everybody gone? Everybody's free! Yeah. Let's go and see what this fella's gonna save himself actually. Let's head back. <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not. I'm not getting involved in that nonsense. Let's go. Uh, is it here? Where's my dude at? Oh, the droid. Hang on. Map. Map. Oh, there it is. I knew I was heading in the right direction. There we 
go into the decay. Back in. Go find this goat. Right, where is he? I assume he's over here. Do, 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 do. Oh, he's in the, in the shrine, isn't he? Into the shrine. Ba, 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 ba. There he is. The goat raises its head at the sight of you. Its hooves pound the ground excitedly. Most excellent. I can sense the presence of the spirit. I've forgotten his voice. The presence of spirits about you. You must have captured the souls I have asked for. No small task, I can tell you that. Just what do you plan on doing with them? Oh, this and that. Nothing you must concern yourself with. What's important is that you are one step closer to fulfilling your contract with me. Four steps closer, thank you very much. There are four souls in there, thank you. Just go ahead and place them in the shrine there. I'll take care of the rest. The goat shakes its head towards a carved relief at the back of the room, grinning in a horrible way that no goat should. Stuffed bear. As you bring the stuffed bear close to the carved stone relief in the wall, it spontaneously bursts into flames in your hand, burning away until only a harsh red stone remains. The stone zips out of your grasp and straight into the socket on the wall, buzzing like an angry insect. You are buffeted by flashes of the bear's wrath, drunken roaring, cowering bodies, splintered wood, the smell of honey. The shrine awaits another offering, dried worm. As with the first, the mummified husk of the leaf, leech turns to ash as you bring it close to the wall, leaving only a glowing orb in its place. Images of the leech slither into your mind, the prick of a needle, the drip, drip, drip of draining fluids, soothing words, restless sleep. Shrine awaits another offering, cracked mirror. Prismatic colours flash through your head at, at, at the thought of the snake. Secrets lapped up by a forked tongue whispers beneath the sound of festivities. Shrine awaits another offering, hardened seed. The ox brings with him the overbearing heat of the midday sun, the salty tang of the sweat in the soil. Suffering, sacrifice, solitude. Wow. You step away from the shrine and its smouldering stones. Your burdens suddenly feel much lighter. Beside you, the sleeping maiden stirs in her slumber, but does not wake. Now then, you've had a very long day. Why don't you get some rest? Tomorrow, we shall pick up bright and early. Yes, I am quite tired. <sighs> Knock me out again. I'm awake. Okay, I think uh, we will leave it here for now and we'll pick up for the next souls next time. So I'm going to jump into my other screen in three, two, one. Oh my goodness, well, that was successful. That was successful. I'm going to reward myself with a nice cup of tea and some cake, I think. We did a good, good job. So yeah, thank you very much for visiting me. You are always welcome here at Auntie Rachel's. Um, feel free to click back into the link if you want to spend some more time with me. I always appreciate it. And I appreciate you and I hope that you have a wonderful week. And I shall see you soon. Bye bye.